What's up, YouTube? We're gonna be making a bumper today. Uh, we're gonna be building a ranch hand style uh, full replacement for a two, 2023 Ford Super Duty. I've got the mainframe drawn out on my table. I got a sheet of eighth inch uh, plate out there that I'm gonna bring in. Move my drawing to that, that way I can build a jig on it. So I can build, I got at least five to build right now. So I'm gonna be trying to make it to where I can <clears throat> make them pretty easily on a jig and then most of my files will be saved on my plasma table and the, even the software for the uh, the bender that'll have all my bins uh, saved on file on it so that'll be once I get the first bumper figured out it should be pretty smooth sailing but we're just gonna go over one bumper and uh, the learning curve of it because the bump the pipe bender I've never used one and the plasma I've only used a few times, so we'll do it. So, first things first, we're gonna bring in the sheet of metal so I can trace it out or put my measurements on it, and then I can set it back on this table and I can build the bumper on it. So. Got my Power Max 30 air set up right now to rip that down real quick.
Power Max 30. It's a uh, self-compressed. I bought it for my uh, welding truck. That way I had some besides the torch with a cleaner cut. Alright, so right now I am transferring all my lines to the jig sheet. That way when I go to I'm going to cut this uh, four inch pipe out here in a little bit. I have all my measurements for my pipe and then when I transfer that I'll be able to put plate steel on both sides of these. There and there. And I'll just be able to set the pipe in it and I can weld the, the joints up. That way it sits in there and it's exactly the same each and every time I go to put this, put a piece of four inch pipe in there for the bumper. Uh, this video is just going to be, I'm going to do several part series on this bumper because there is a lot going on in it. Uh, right now it's just going to be getting the jig set up for the 4 inch pipe. All of my lines set up. Uh, we're going to cut enough pipe for a 4 inch bumper, for the 4 inch main pipe on the, of the bumper. We're going to bevel it, get it put on here. Get all the plates put on with the edges that will accept my outside lines where I know the bumper is going to set in there. Then we're going to weld the joints up. Uh, and that'll be part one. Uh, the next will be cutting. Uh, I'm not really sure what. I think the mounts. The mounts are going to be next. So we'll get those uh, drawn up and designed on my CNC program. So I can get at least one cut out so I can make sure uh, it's going to work. And if I need to change <coughs> change anything or not. But for this video we're just going to focus on the 4 inch main pipe for the bumper. So I'm going to transfer all my lines to this sheet and then I'm going to scoot the sheet up. I think I'm just going to tack the edges that way the sheet stays in place for now. And then when I'm done with it I'll be able to just grind those tacks off and uh, take it outside until I need to build another one. But right now I've got actually five to build so I've got plenty of work for this one jig for right now. So. <laughs> a couple days ago. Identical. So all I gotta do is just scoot this plate back on this table and then I'm gonna tack the edges and I'm gonna get my measurements for the pipe and then I'm gonna move all that stuff out of the way and bring some four inch pipe and then we'll cut it with the saw.